In this video, we'll show you how to create and configure on-premises load generators. You can use such load generators to run load tests on applications that cannot be accessed from over your firewall. Also, certain protocols are supported by Stormrunner Load for on-premises load generators only. For details, see Supported Script Protocols in the Stormrunner Load Help Center. Step 1. Define a load generator in Stormrunner Load. Select Assets, Load Generators, and click Create. Give the load generator a meaningful name and description, and then click Save. Copy or note down the key that is displayed on the right. You will need this later on. Step 2. Download the load generator installation file. On the machine on which you want to install the load generator, download the installation file from the Stormrunner Load homepage, Get Tools, Agents, Get OPLG. Extract the contents of the downloaded zip file. Ensure that .NET version 3.5 or later is installed on this machine. Step 3. Install the load generator. Run the extracted Stormrunner Load Generator exe file. We recommend that you run the installation as an administrator. Select the installation path. We recommend using the default path, but you can select a different one if required. Click Install. Step 4. Configure the load generator. By default, when the installation is complete, the configuration tool opens. You can configure the load generator at a later time if you want, but the load generator and the Stormrunner load server can't communicate with each other until you configure the load generator. On the General tab, configure the load generator key that you noted earlier, your Stormrunner load username and password, and your tenant ID. On the miscellaneous tab, configure proxy settings. By default, all traffic to and from the load generator is encrypted and secure. If you want to use your own proxy server, enter the proxy URL. If your proxy requires authentication, click Advanced and enter your credentials. You can also change the default log level. Click Save and Test to save your settings and test your connection to the Stormrunner Load server. If the connection test is not successful and the load generator is behind a firewall, make sure that the firewall is configured to allow outbound connections to Stormrunner Load's control components in the cloud. Also, if a load test doesn't run successfully when the load generator is behind a firewall, Open a ticket to obtain allocated IP addresses for you to add to your IP whitelist. For details, refer to the Stormrunner Load Help Center. When the installation is complete, you must restart the load generator machine. Step 5. Launch the load generator. After the restart, go to Start, Stormrunner Load Generator, Start SRL Generator. You can now use your load generator to run your load tests. By the way, this is where you can also manually launch the load generator configuration tool. Step 6. Configure the load generator in a load test. In Stormrunner Load, the load generator now shows that it is connected. In the load tests configuration, you can assign the load generator to a script. For further details, refer to the Stormrunner Load Help Center. Thanks for watching.